okay so now all the test cases are passing what was the error error was i was passing this slides as a capital s which is obviously undefined right and here i am i was disabling this next button when the current slide equal equal to slides dot length but it should be slides dot length minus one a small hack right because our index is starting from zero current current slide from zero then the last slide index will obviously be the array dot length minus one and this fixes our test cases and now we can submit this okay now we will talk about the next problem in the next problem we have i think the article sorting application and there also we have to submit the test cases and make it work and this is react certification basics so we have two different buttons so let's read the the question first so the app has one component name articles the list of articles should be displayed the app should have following functionalities the list of articles passed to the app component as an array as a props this there is a title uploads is a number date is of type uh, date by default the article should be displayed in the table ordered by number of upvotes in the descending order so this is the default sorting order and then when you click on to either most upvote and most recent then the sorting should be applied so it's all about the logic which we are going to put on the click okay so here we already have this tr so what we are going to have is we are going to receive the data from the app component app component will have a sorting logic right so that sorting logic will filter the, the result set and here inside this component it is just the, the rendering part so what we are going to do here is we are going to apply the sorting and that is the only logic we need to place here so we are going to add on click event so there are two buttons most of both so here we can do a on click and here let's say we are doing is sort by upvotes okay and here i can say sort by date these are the two buttons most recent and i will define both these functions here it's like simple array sorting for us but there can be some edge cases we have to cover so this is sort by upvotes and this is sort by dates and we have to write it as an arrow function because this is the functional component okay now what is the default order of the 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 results which we are getting the the result is by default whatever we are receiving we will just set them and we are going to have a state here so article list and we are going to initialize the state based on the articles we are receiving from the parent component okay this is article list set article list and here we can see is let's say we are getting the new article Which is an empty list right or what you can do is you can create a new articles based on the spread operator simple and you can create the copy of this and we will do the the sorting now right now what we will do is new articles dot sort I mean this is just a simple array dot sort with the two call call with the callback function a comma b and here we can specify our condition if a dot what is a parameter upvote a dot upvotes is greater than b dot upvotes in that case return true or false sorry return minus one plus one it depends on how you want to do the sorting if you want this is the particular case otherwise return zero it's like simple array sorting if 
p dot of puts is less than v dot of puts written plus one otherwise written zero both are equals right this is simple array sorting and finally we can just do set article list and we can supply new articles same we can define this same method we can define for uh, sort by dates right here you can see we have upwards property and we have a date by default the article should be displayed in the table ordered by number of upwards descending order i mean this is based on the data we are returning re getting based on the upwards and then when you click on the most upward and most recent based on that the filter should be applied correct so here we have sort by dates we got the new copy and here we are again applying the sort a and b so here the only important part is because this is date this is not a number or uh, something which we can compare right so we have to cut we have to get the dates first a date is coming from we will convert into a date object a dot date which is because this is a string so we'll get const a date and b date this is the only tricky part in this otherwise it's a simple sorting and then we will apply if a is greater than b because what is the order of sorting let's say button should reorder and display the articles by date in the descending order means the least uh, the old should come first right so here we are doing a date that is greater than b dot date sorry b date then in that case we have to return minus one plus one or return zero if a dot date is less than b dot date then return positive one this is i mean this is how you can customize the sorting by returning plus one minus one based on the order i mean you can do the sorting in the descending or ascending order if you are returning plus one and here minus one it will reverse the sorting order and finally new articles and here we already have the buttons and here we are passing articles and we are passing articles so articles here we have article list because this is a sorted version we can pass this to the articles and now inside this articles what we need to do just a simple iterate and display that inside a table right so we already have a row column defined so inside this row what we are going to do we are dynamically going to generate these rows so we can do is articles dot map here we are going to receive this is a props because table is also not displayed correctly so articles dot map here we will get two things article and index and we will iterate onto this so we can simply say is we are getting this thing which is a single row and inside this we can get, print the title here we need to pass the key which is index rest all the things we can get from article article dot title save it run the test again and here you can see most updated most recent most updated means the the first date for what is the data data is like this is a numeric and here if you go to the spec then what it is comparing it with so initially renders app correctly and it is breaking at line number 89 it's like we didn't read the question properly so the error was by default the article should be displayed in the table ordered by number of upwards right so here we need to do the initial sorting once we receive the data inside app component like the article list here because huge state accepts the callback and here we can say is if the article is there then, then do the initial sorting 
So the initially also we will have the sorting results available and when you do the NKM run test, you should be able to get everything passed. So this is the missing piece of the information. And if you miss any of the information, then your test case will not pass. These are the four conditions. I read them one by one and then I debug the code and then here I found out the fix. And now all the test cases are passing. Okay, uh, that's it. This is about uh, React Basic Certification. And I will submit the code and I will submit the test. I mean, it took a lot of time just to fix this one small bug. If we read the left end uh, the description properly, I think that won't be the problem now.